So we're doing a review on the Hyanka speakers. These are a 12-inch two-way party speaker here. They come with a speaker stand, and I've got a lot of wires here. But it does come with a microphone and a wire. Basically, this is a little uh, a little system that could get you going to sing along with some of your favorite songs, make an announcement, have a party, and having music going. Now, these speakers are Bluetooth-capable. They have, I've got my phone hooked up to it right now, and you've got your Bluetooth connection, and then you'll see there's a, a TWS where we can do the, the true wireless stereo to a second one, which I have right over there. Now, on the back here, you've got your, you've got a couple of inputs here. You've got your mic inputs, which I have two mics in here because we're going to demonstrate how the, the included mic sounds against uh, another microphone. You've got another another open channel that's not being used, but it has RCAs if you needed to run something. And you've got the eighth inch uh, auxiliary in there. And of course, we've got an MP3 level. We can put in a USB right there and be able to run, control it right here. Or I'm using that right now to control uh, the Bluetooth. The master volume, which controls everything, which you can see is pretty much pegged right now. And we've got a little bit of um, a little bit of tonality adjustments with a treble and a bass control. Now you'll see I've got an aux cable that's taking it across because I've been kind of testing back and forth, you know, with microphones with the audio. And it basically, no matter wh which way I have it, if I'm doing the TWS, this controls the the Bluetooth or the signal coming into it. So I've got to have this one at three quarter. If I'm sending the aux or the 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 signal here to the other speaker, I have to go then and turn this one up to about three quarter the way, or I should say it's about uh, about three o'clock. But it would be you know, pretty much that far. So it's there's not as much headroom on this as I would I would want to have. So right now with the microphones, well, let's just step in front. This is this is the one that comes with it, and it has a nice little on-off switch available. You'll notice that it's got a lot of, a little bit of play in there, and I'm not exactly overly excited about that. Second uh, second thing that was included is the speaker stand, and you'll notice that's a kind of a small. That's as high as it goes, and this is this is roughly maybe five feet. That is a real uh, real DJ speaker stand over there. Not only does it have a wider base. We're only probably about 24 inches uh, from, from point to point on this one. It's got a wider base, and that one can get that speaker up above uh, head level. That that cone would be at my head level if I wanted it to be. So not uh, the speaker stand, it's nice that it's there, I suppose, for maybe some things, but for our application as DJs, not so much. Now, the microphone is going to give us a lot of, if we point it towards it, it's going to give me a lot of feedback right now. But it doesn't sound too terribly bad. You can see I'm right at the edge of getting feedback with this microphone. Now we'll shut that one off, and I'm going to stick it in my pocket. Again, I can, I can it's got a switch on it. Now we're going to go to the Shure, and I'm going to talk into the Shure. Now we're going to have a little bit different sound quality with the Shure, and you'll notice I'm not getting the super highs because sometimes some microphones are going to give you uh, more highs and not the full range, and that might be the case. But really, if you listen to this, again, this is the Shure. This is an SM58, which is again industry standard, and you're hearing my voice through it. Now let's switch back to the other. And the Hyanka, you're hearing it's a much, a much louder. We've got a much hotter microphone, and it is one of these where you've got direction as far as if I coming to the sides a little bit. So it's really almost too loud for this test, with both of the microphones being pretty much wide open back there. So let's adjust that microphone down. So we've got our Shure microphone that's gonna be coming in wide open and we're going to have the Hyanka that is coming in at, with the, the gauge of the thing set at three o'clock. So let's go back out here. And now we're gonna take an audio test. And yeah, there we go, we sound much better. We're not getting the feedback. And now as I talk and pivot the microphone, you can really hear that this is kind of a cardio pattern that this pickup has of this microphone. As I turn the microphone, I'm talking to the side of the microphone. You're not hearing it through the speaker anymore. My, I'm literally, I'm going to just turn this, I'm literally speaking in the microphone just like this, and then if I turn it, you're hearing it much more, but if I t turn it to the side, you're not hearing anything, so really, it is a true cardioid microphone, and if I hold it down a little bit, we lose it, so it's about eight inches away, and now as I bring it back up, and I'm within two inches of my, my mouth, it's getting a pretty good pickup. Now, when it comes to the Bluetooth connection, we've got a play and we have a forward and a back button. What's really kind of neat about with their, T, their, their True Wireless TWS is that my play on either one will control my device and my forward and backward will control the device. Now, 
the two volumes here only control this unit. If I want to control, I could literally turn this one all the way down and leave the music playing on the other one. I could do that with the TWS Master and Slave. So I really, the only way I can control volume for both is with the device. Once the device is on and, and wide open, then I can individually control the comp this one with these two knobs, or I can control the other with the, the same two knobs on that particular speaker. So you've got a little flexibility where you can do some things here and adjust here, but it's not something where you can adjust this speaker and that, that information goes to the other speaker. Another feature that I really like is that it has a little set knob there. So when you get the speaker, you get it up on the speaker stand, you can actually kind of tighten that just a hair bit so it's not going to spin freely. Boy, that's a great option. And it's not on all speakers, but they definitely have it here. So overall, listening to them, if you have just one, I, I really wasn't impressed with just one, but when we added the second one and went into that uh, true wireless stereo, it sounded really, really good. I was uh, very impressed with two of them. One thing is they don't get very loud. I could use this for dinner, maybe kind of a cocktail, backyard party if I don't want to have a dance. But if I want to have it loud enough for a dance, I'd either have to go and put a board in instead of using a mobile device because this just doesn't get it loud enough or I'd have to do something different. Uh, they were, wattage wise, they say they're, they're able to handle a lot of watts, but wattage and actual, actual efficiency are two completely different things. So this could be a case where mobile device is just not enough. And if I, I would have to have, have a, a board that could put a hotter signal into it and, and getting more sound out of it. I'm not exactly sure, but for doing a dance, these probably wouldn't work out. Now the LEDs, they're kind of a cool little thing. It goes through with some random things and there's really not much we can do with them on the back. We have a little button right there that's an LED button and that will defeat it. But overall, there's not much I can do with those LEDs. I can't, I can't control them from back here any way, shape or form. Uh, menu is very basic. It doesn't have a lot, of, a lot of functionality. So the LEDs, they do not sync and they're just kind of doing their own thing. Which, again, isn't bad, but it's just not kind of cool. You know, if I want them to sync and do something together, that would make it really awesome. If that somehow could communicate to each other, oh my gosh, that would be awesome. Not so much, uh, you know, not a great, great thing. So, overall, microphone, I'd say the microphone's pretty decent. Um, surprisingly, I think that that was much better than, uh, <laughs> I was not impressed at all with the speaker stand. I would recommend, if you're going to do it, get a real speaker stand. Um, the speaker itself, they sound good in a pair for kind of a backyard party thing, but if you're needing more horsepower, I don't think these can give it to you. And another another situation is is when I'm pushing it just a little bit, and again, Bluetooth, so it's not being pushed hard. You hear, you're hearing a little bit on the bass beat, you're hearing some buzzing on the back of both of these speakers. I'm not exactly sure. It isn't anything here as you're touching, you're, you're not, but you're hearing like a where it's, it sounds like there's something that would be loose in that. And I had that with both of them. Uh, one thing that I do like is they've got a handle here that can be extended for easy transport. There's wheels there. And what's neat about it is when this handle is locked in, in the down position, it's the handle for carrying it. And it's actually really quite secure. It doesn't pop up by mistake. So that was a really kind of a neat, uh, a neat little feature with that, that you have handles on the sides, you've got a handle on the top, and any of them can help carry the speaker. And if you need to, you can roll it along. So for someone looking for something for a backyard party, if your, your man cave, you want to have a little system in there, these would give you definitely some options with that to be able to have some decent quality sound. If you wanted to run microphone between them, you'd have to run a, uh, an additional wire between the two and you wouldn't use the TWS. So if you were really wanting to just go wireless between those, you're only going to have music and you would only have the audio or the vocals from the microphone coming through one speaker. Again, it isn't the end of the world, but for some people that could be a problem. So uh, overall, though, I think they're, they're pretty neat and uh, with the right application, I think some people can have a lot of fun with these. This is John Young here with the Disc Jockey News. Thank you for watching.